Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. And let's grow together. I have absolutely loved receiving so many different comments recently in regards to my choices of hair care, my style, how my hair is growing, how I'm doing emotionally with having gone through quite a lot of difficult times at the moment. So I just want to say thank you so much. It really does mean uh, the world to me. Okay, so today's clip, we are talking about neoxidants. So neoxin, we are looking at shampoos and conditioners today, all right, and we are looking at natural hair progressed thinning. Okay, so progressed thinning. Now I have done a review on neoxin, and I think that was the natural. In fact, I've got the other variation here, which we're going to talk about throughout the clip. Um, but that one was for natural hair light thinning. Okay, so what's my experience of neoxin? I'll be very honest. When I first way, must be a couple of years ago now, when I tried using Neoxin first of all, I actually didn't like it. I bought one of their trial kits, okay, where it came with the shampoo, the conditioner, or light thinning actually, strangely enough, and um, you had like a small little treatment spray, a trial treatment spray in there as well. And to be quite honest with you, I really didn't like the product. Um, I found that it just didn't deliver for me, and I only used it for about twice, maybe three times, and then I put it away and never really looked at it again. It wasn't until much time later after I was looking at, um, I was having some problems with my hair and I was really trying to find a product which I could use on a daily basis and that I could really um, have confidence in that it was working. And I came across it and I've seen so many amazing reviews and I thought, well, it didn't work for me. So what I would say from the off is Neoxin's products sometimes take a little bit of getting used to because they are different. And that's what I learned. And I wish that I'd have stuck with it at the time, instead of giving my impression first off, thinking that it actually necessarily wasn't a great product, when it actually really is. So from the off and from the start of this clip, I want to say to you that Neoxin is a really great brand, and it is something which I changed my mind about very, very quickly, and it's now something which I recommend when anybody asks me on my channel, what do they recommend for using uh, on fine or thinning hair or hair loss, or even as a matter of prevention. I absolutely love their anti-hair loss uh, sandal oil spray, which I've got a review on my channel for. I absolutely love that. And I've seen great results with that. Um, and I also love their I think it's Nighttime Protect Density Serum with Oxidine, and that is a really, really great product, and they complement each other, so there is part of a system, so the shampoo and the conditioner, the daytime spray, and the nighttime uh, serum. Now, all of that entailed, I'll be honest, it is expensive, it's not cheap, they're about £50 each, and if you shop around, you can get some good offers on them, and of course, with the shampoo and the conditioner, they are premium hair care products, so they are more expensive, but let me tell you, um, a little bit more about price. So these two here, so this is natural hair progress thinning, shampoo and conditioner. Now you may think, why on earth have you got these sizes? So this is a litre each. The kits, I find, are a little bit more expensive than actually buying a bottle like this. So from Amazon, okay, one of these for a litre was £20, the other one was £21. And I mean, the kit is anywhere between 20 25 30 I paid £31 actually before, and that's very small bottles. They don't last no more than about a fortnight, I would say. Um, you can make them last a lot longer, and I have done. Um, but if you really want like the conditioner, if you really want to sort of put a little bit more in, look after the lengths and ends, look after your scalp a little bit more, um, and just be a little bit more luxurious with it, then these are going to be, I think, better value for money for you as well. And if you're in a family home like me, everybody goes to try it, and everybody ends up liking it it's going to last as well. So have confidence with that. This is really, really great. Now, first off, let's talk about, so there's natural hair like thinning. That's this one. And unfortunately, I haven't got um, any more of the shampoo. It's just this conditioner. Um, what's left? Natural hair light thinning. And this is what I've been trying to work out before I've been doing the clip with you. And this one is progress thinning. So, okay, let's start about light thinning. So how do you know if you're thinning and you've got what's uh, Neoxon call it natural hair light thinning? So for example, I would class that as if, for example, you're seeing a little bit more hair fall than what's normal for you, but yet you're not yet seeing any change on your scalp. Your hair's still got body, it's still got texture. If you're a man, you've got a full head of hair, you're still able to style it, but yet when you come to wash it, you're seeing quite an excess. 
or if you're a lady, when you go to style your hair, or perhaps there's a few more extra hairs on what you're wearing, um, or when you go to style your hair, um, you'll see a little bit more. I would say that, that was natural thinning, which of course can be perfectly normal. That can be that your hair cycle. That could be seasonal loss as we go from summer into the fall season. You could be going through some stress, medication, a bereavement, one thing or another, you can experience light uh, thinning and change. That doesn't necessarily mean to say that's permanent. It can be, and sadly, in many cases, it is. But it also can be the body's way of coping with stress as well. And that's a three, usually after uh, three months, uh, you can tell if your hair's starting to to change. Always look back at three months and what was going on in your life, and that's a good indicator of what's uh, happening and what's going on. Do excuse me how I'm talking sometimes. I've got um, I've I've had Invisalign now for quite a few weeks, but it's still dries my mouth out quite a lot, so apologies for that as well. Okay, so that's light thinning. So what's progressed thinning? So progressed thinning, I think, exactly in the terms of it. So you notice some change in your hair, perhaps a couple of months ago. You've parted your hair now, and you can see more scalp. You can see a little bit more scalp. Perhaps, as you're, a, um, if you're a man watching this, perhaps your temples, uh, your hairline is intact, but behind, it's getting a little bit more thinner. Perhaps you can start to see more hair shedding. If you're a lady, perhaps your style's not necessarily holding as much, or perhaps you're not feeling as though your hair is as voluptuous or, or holds volume as well. And perhaps you're really starting to see much more of a wider parting. So progress thinning, I would class that as. So today we're going to be talking about the shampoo and the condition of the progressed thinning. Now, I've been trying to determine what the change and what the difference is between them. So for the natural hair light thinning, the oxin, now forgive me if I've got this wrong, but in my personal opinion, I think what the emphasis is on when it's natural hair light thinning is that the shampoo and uh, conditioner system is designed at boosting the structure of the hair, boosting the volume, looking after that body, looking after your scalp environment. So you can keep on enjoying healthy scalp and a real uh, good steady hair growth. So you're keeping everything healthy and using the right core products. So it's going to give you texture, give you volume, and all those great ingredients which we'll go into in just a moment. Progressed thing, I think those systems there much more get down to the scalp level and really try to uh, clear any product buildup, which the light hair does, but I think the progressed one does that more. It does not strip your hair. It does not strip your scalp, making you feel really dry and uncomfortable. But there is much more of an emphasis on the progressed thinning that it's to try and halt things and to try and give you a much more healthier, stimulated scalp environment. Rather than with the light thinning, it's talking about body, it's talking about texture, um, structure of the hair. Whereas the progress thinning is really starting to get to the core problem, so the scalp area, really trying to invigorate that, to make that super, super healthy for you to grow healthier hair and be a tool for you to be able to grow much more fuller, thicker and healthier hair, which I absolutely confirm they are amazing at that. They really, really are. Now, with the anti-hair loss uh, spray with Sandlaw, amazing. The nighttime serum with the Oxidine, with this shampoo and conditioner, my hair, when I use those together, feels much more fuller. It feels much more invigorated. My hair stands up more fuller. Now, of course, I've styled my hair today, but I've used the Neoxin system. Now, if I use the Neoxin system, straight away, my hair feels like I've got more of it. I've got fine textured hair, and I've got a lot of it. I've had a lot of problems on this side. Um, I'd say within since about May of last year, I used the uh, Sandlaw spray, anti hello spray, the nighttime serum, the shampoo conditioner. Uh, I haven't been using it on and off now because I'm I'm getting much more confident, much more happy with my hair now. I've also been taking some supplements in the background too, which we're going to be reviewing shortly on my channel. But the Neoxin progressed uh, thinning system I had as a, actually as a gift at Christmas, and. Since then, we're in February now, I used the light thinning before that. My hair, I can honestly say, has much more uh, much more body to it, much more texture. It feels like hair. It feels not like so fine and downy. Or I've, I've had a bit of an area here, sort of slowly going into a bit of a patch. Um, that, and I say like a, it then progressed and went into sort of like a triangle area. This has really, really helped. Um, of course, I'm taking supplements in the background. I've been also trying to control stress, looking after my diet. When I get stressed, I don't necessarily eat as much as I should. So I've been really trying to concentrate on all those things. But I can wholeheartedly say, if you take anything away from this clip today, Neoxin, do your own research, give them a try. The progressed thinning is a really, really great system. Let's look into it now. And ultimately, take my opinion for it. 
it works and it really, really does deliver, I find. Okay, so let's go into this a little bit more detail. So the cleansing shampoo, the cleansing shampoo, so it's a clear liquid, the uh, the light um, the light hair uh, thinning is like almost like a blue color. The progress one is like a green, so really easy to determine that as well. It's got a really awakening scent, really fresh, almost as though you're out in the garden. It's minty. It's got that nice icy sort of feeling on the scalp. You can feel straight away it's invigorating. It gets to work straight away, and it really does. Even whilst your hair is wet, I know this sounds strange, but for a full, healthy, thick hair style okay and to make your hair as thick and full as possible you need to be using the right products like these and you need to start when your hair is wet so shampoo conditioner your treatments and sprays of course that's optional afterwards as well but get the the, the core products right you're halfway there and this shampoo really does deliver in that it's got some really great ingredients really invigorating it wakes up you and then your scalp feels really icy and tingly it doesn't affect my scalp okay when i first started to use neoxin the little treatment sprays you get in the trial packs that makes my scalp red but after doing some research um and i personally don't use that now because if i use a spray i use the saddle or anti-hair loss or the nighttime density uh serum and i use that for me that works for me but ultimately you'll know what works for you so I stay away from that, but that is part of it um, in the little spray bottle in the trial packs. It does say that your scalp can get red from that. Um, the shampoo conditioner doesn't make you feel like that at all. Um, you don't see no colour change. The shampoo is it's it's just everything you want in a thin hair or a or if you're or a hair loss uh, shampoo. It's everything you want in there. So ingredients just to pick it out uh just a few things in here for you uh straight away so you've got the citric acid in here we've got uh uh oh crikey it's that small i'm struggling to read here uh it's menthol in here we've got uh a few sort of um sort of natural ingredients in here as well we have got biotin in here we've got pan panthenol in here we've got citrus peel extract in here we have got humulus Lupus, <laughs> uh, flower extract in here. I hope that's right. Um, we have got a few natural sort of flower extracts and things in here as well. Um, some really great ingredients in here. But you know, I cannot stress enough. Even though I'm not doing an amazing job reading the ingredients off, it's a it's a really great product. And if you're looking for something which works, this does. And certainly when you go to dry your hair, even if you just shampoo your hair, if you're a guy watching, if you've got short hair, perhaps you don't always use conditioner. With this, it's really zingy. It's really awakening and you can really understand i mean straight away i can feel that it makes my hair feel stronger it makes my hair have much more of an anchored effect so i find it's not so weak when i'm using the oxen um if i'm perhaps a little bit rare for and i don't intend to be but perhaps if when i'm combing or styling my hair i almost feel quite quickly that it makes my hair have much more of a stronger sort of feel or it makes my hair sort of not necessarily so weak um i went for a stage where if i was touching my hair or if i was styling my hair or what have you it almost felt like i didn't have to do too much and i'd lose quite a bit and it would just come away in my hand whereas with this it feels almost like it's more anchored to my scalp it feels like it's much more invigorated much more healthy so i love that the conditioner is same sort of color okay so in the light thing i don't know how they've done that it's like a blue color uh, a light color so it's not over the top or anything the conditioner it's like a green sort of variation again really minty really invigorating ingredients kind of what shout out straight away to me very similar sort of to the shampoo we've got menthol in here we've got peppermint oil in here we have got uh nettle extract in here we've got sugar maple extract we've got lemon peel extract we've got sugar cane extract we have got orange fruit extract lots ultimately I really love them as a system. They work great together. The conditioner of a weekend, if I've got a little bit more time, I leave it in for a bit longer. If I'm in the bathroom of an evening, um, I leave it in a bit longer. It doesn't make your hair feel heavy or sort of like you've got a product in it at all. It washes out amazing. It's really invigorating. It's fresh. Um, as I said, if you've got short hair, you're a guy watching this, you can probably get away with using the shampoo um, and then pick one of their treatment uh, sprays, either the sandal or anti hair spray or the nighttime density serum with Oxidine. Um, and away, to be honest with you, really, really great results to be had there. Um, certainly from my experience, I can absolutely wholeheartedly say that is true from my opinion. Um, this one, really, really great conditioner. If you've got time, if you don't usually use a conditioner because you think, oh, I've got thinning hair, I've got really, really fine hair, this doesn't weigh it down at all. It helps your hair hold texture, hold body. Um, 
And I really, really like it. It's a really, really great system. And again, it doesn't affect my scalp at all. One thing I will just mention to you on here, what Neoxin are really, really good at on all their products, this logo up here. Okay. So Neoxin concentrate on the density, the diameter and the derma purifying of the hair. So derma, so scalp, so it looks after the scalp environment. It gets rid of that product buildup. So excessive oils, perhaps product buildup, dead skin cells. It removes all of that, but it doesn't dry our scalp out. doesn't make it feel tight and uncomfortable or itchy. Really, really great. Density, it helps by working to make the hair thicker, fuller, and help you be able to grow and achieve a much more thicker head of hair as well. Diameter, it increases. It almost like slightly makes your hair look a bit more fuller, swell it up a little bit. You can see, I always use the analogy of like a sponge. Ever so slightly, it sort of makes the hair look and appear much more fuller. Now, yes, of course, today I have got product in my hair. And yes, I've got a little bit of help with like a bit of a, a hairspray type product. Um, but to be honest, there's not loads in it. And it naturally has fullness, texture, body, all those amazing great words, what you want to hear when you've got fine or thin hair. Um, and yeah, do you know what? It's really, really great. Absolutely love Noxin. Can't shout about it enough. Um, please try this. If you have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below. I'll do my utmost best to come back to you. And at the end of this clip, what I will do is I'll attach the saddle or anti-hair loss spray and the uh, nighttime uh serum with the oxidine in so you can have a look at those as well because i haven't got them um with me to review um right now but i have used all of them i can assure you and they're really really great they are all in my go-to armory sort of products to be able to um know where to purchase or buy whenever i want to try them um so absolutely really really happy with them love neoxin as i say probably my favorites is the anti uh hair loss sand law and the nighttime one um and these Really, really love that here. Um, but I've tried a whole host of different products. For example, their microdermabrasion sort of little serum uh, treatment. Um, I've also tried the trial kits, uh, the light hair thinning. That's this one here. I've tried this one too. Um, the trial kits, the only thing I... I product I really don't like, to be quite honest with you. Um, I wouldn't say as far as don't like, but didn't really go for me, I don't think, was a little uh, spray bottles in the trial kits. But of course, everybody's different. Everybody's scalp is different. So please, if you're looking for something which is going to help your hair and your concern of your hair, start using the oxen or at least try something. Try one. Perhaps if you, for example, because this is great with these products as well, the shampoo and the conditioner, because you can mix and match. So for example, sometimes I'll just use the shampoo and then I'll use a different conditioner or vice versa. I'll use a different shampoo and then I will use this. But ultimately I know if I'm really concerned with my hair, I can grab the anti-hair loss uh, serum Density Night Serum with the Oxidine. I can grab the anti-hair loss sandal or spray. Um, and I've used those on their own as well. And then I can use them all together for a collective response, a really full-on approach. Um, and yes, yeah, so you can chop and change and just what works for you, to be quite honest with you as well. Okay, I've really enjoyed doing this clip. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. So bye for now. God bless. Take great care. Bye.